DJI Mini 2 Review Tiny Dancer When the first Mavic Mini was introduced, it was clearly created with one purpose. Make a drone with an adequate camera that weighs under 250 grams. That number is the key spec because anything under it still doesn't require FAA registration. The new DJI Mini 2 hits that same sub-250 target but with fewer compromises than the first Mini. Where the original was mostly targeting people who were thinking about making that first step into the drone world, the DJI Mini 2 aims to satisfy not only beginners but also experienced drone pilots, photographers, and videographers. As someone who spends a lot of his free time traversing the city with a camera, taking photos, I usually end up carrying more gear than I really need. It can become a tough call deciding if it's worth bringing my drone with me. When it is, I usually grab my DJI Mavic 2 Pro. It is still a very portable drone, but paired with two extra batteries and a controller, it becomes a little hard to carry for hours on end. This is where the $450 DJI Mini 2 comes in. It's light, in fact. It's tiny. And though it obviously has a worse camera than DJI bigger drones, it's still a very good camera. I underestimated the Mini 2 at first, but I soon discovered a ton of little improvements that make this new $449 drone a perfect package for a content creator on the go. The DJI Mini 2 is the exact same size and weight as its predecessor so it won't require registration with the FAA. And according to the newly updated drone laws, sub-250 drones won't be subjected to broadcasting the pilot's and drone's location. The Mini 2 also comes with a new larger controller, the same controller that was introduced with the Mavic Air 2. The phone now sits on top of the controller and it's way easier to use. Unlike before, you don't have to be worried if you have a case on your phone, either. Besides the improved camera, the most notable new addition on the DJI Mini 2 is AkaSync. It provides a solid and reliable link compared to the old Wi-Fi connection on the original Mini. AkaSync operates on radio frequencies and already proved its worth in other DJI drones its low latency can transmit 1000 ADIP or 720 type video previews to your phone and in ideal conditions can provide ridiculous range. It is single-handedly the biggest upgrade between the original Mavic Mini and the Mini 2, and it makes flying this drone so much easier and enjoyable. Another thing that makes it more enjoyable to fly are the stronger motors. It makes the drone able to sustain high winds on par with some of the more powerful DJI drones like the Mavic 2 Pro and Zoom. At no point during my testing was I ever worried about losing control. Also, smaller drones are just way more fun to fly and this one actually doesn't sound too loud. Smaller drones tend to have a very high-pitched noise, but you don't get that with the Mini 2 until you fly it in speedy sport mode. What you won't find on this drone are obstacle avoidance sensors, so you do need to be very careful about how you fly it. But despite not having any sensors, I actually felt more adventurous with the Mini it is so small you can easily squeeze it through tighter spaces. I've found myself trying things that I normally wouldn't try with a heavier and more expensive drone. The downside of not having any sensors is that it also means you won't find a lot of the automated, per-programmed flight modes. The autonomous active track mode isn't here, nor can you create hyperlapses. The camera still has the same, small 1 or 2.3 inch 12 MP sensor as the original Mini, but it produces much nicer photos than before. JPG that you get right off the drone are fantastic, and you can enhance them within the DJI app. It applies some subtle adjustments to the overall contrast of the image, lift shadows, and adds a bit of life to overall colors. I appreciate how subtle and effective these adjustments are. The Mini 2 isn't DJI flashiest drone. In fact, it is almost the opposite. It proved to me how many flagship drone features I actually don't miss when they are gone. The Mini 2 is a culmination of some of the best things DJI can offer inside a minuscule package, starting with an always reliable and steady connection, more than adequate camera, and a great software experience. This drone strikes a near-perfect balance between price, mobility, and image quality. But as a creator, image quality is really important to me. And as much as I praise the improvements here, you still have to be aware of the limitations of smaller sensors when it comes to noise-to-pixel density ratio, low-light performance, and dynamic range. 90% of the time, this drone was great for what I needed it to do. But there were times I wished I had a slightly better camera on me with higher megapixel count, a bigger sensor, or wider dynamic range. 